in an interview with the Mail that you gave, you made the point that you were very disappointed that Meghan and Harry had had this amazing opportunity yeah. as the first biracial couple in our monarchy to really be a force for change and good, and they blew it. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm not going to let you get away with the whole Trump thing. Still not voting for him, right? No. <laughs> uh, by the way, I've never told anyone to vote for Donald Trump, right? I'm not American. I wouldn't impinge on their thing. It uh, just was quite funny to uh, read this report. And I, he was the only one. I, I've, got a, I've got a lot of American... Four sisters who live in New York, and they've got a view about Trump. But anyway, um, on the Meghan Markle thing, look, I think people mistake who Meghan Markle is. Um, she herself said that until she became this princess, she never regarded herself particularly as black. And that's understandable. She grew up uh, in Los Angeles mm. in the most uh, wealthy uh, encl black enclave any anywhere in the United States, mm. Park, Park, um, Parkview, Windsor Hills mm. in Los Angeles. She went to uh, a private uh, Roman Catholic school. And in a sense, Race was never really part of mm. her background. And actually, you knew... Anybody who, from back, from, who comes from a black family knew that this was not her territory. When she made this supposedly incendiary claim mm. about somebody asking about mm. what Archie's skin colour will be... Well, actually, every black family... Of course! The minute that, that you know there's somebody coming, that's what you're speculating about. For white people, it's what colour hair, what colour eyes. And by the way, eyes. particularly us, in a family, if one parent yeah, is yeah, white yeah. and one parent is black, but, 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 but as I, in her parents, for example. Yeah, but the point I really want to make about Meghan Markle is that she had to learn to be black on the job, as it were. And I think she made a bit of a mess of it. She didn't take advice. And that's, in some sense, is why I think they've squandered the opportunity right. to demonstrate something important about this country. We All have right. the... Just very quickly, yeah. we have the largest, uh, unique, uh, uniquely mixed-race population anywhere in the developed world that has come about through romance rather than coercion. And they could have been standard bearers. I totally agree. Exactly. Paula, you're grimacing. I'm, I'm quickly, grimacing we're out because, I, I, obviously, I love Tr Sir Trevor, but we're going to disagree on that point. You yourself have just said she did a bad job of learning how to be black. Why did this woman, this person, have to learn how to be black? She had to be learn how to be black because she had to confront racists. And it was the first uh, time that she was having to uh, confront uh, racists. And we know that she was having to confront racists. My point is she didn't racist. know anything about the issue... About and by the way, I don't, I don't about. believe she did confront racists. And racist. we know that she had to confront racists because like Neil Bass... Yeah, through the ex-charity uh, no police evidence. has There's no told evidence. us that their people have been arrested. Like Richard, final words. There's right, no evidence Richard. to a racist in the royal family. She That's blew a I great That's opportunity to advance the cause of tolerance uh, within this country. And we to let show her us, down. As leaders... No, we didn't. We let her we, down and we, we didn't We, we gave her a massive her. opportunity and she completely blew it. There are it. people in prison now because of the threats they made to her life. And, Piers, I know you are sensitive to people who have made threats to people's lives. You will understand that mental strain oh, that was on her in terms on. of that. And you come know that because on. you will have read who the report from Neil Bassett. Who confront? Tell me the name of one person that she confronted. She didn't even hear this remark about Archie. It was reported to her so by her husband. I'm referencing tell, what tell the ex-chief of, of, of police, terror uh, police, Neil Basu, who was interviewed, and he informed the viewer that she had um, received a number of threats to yeah, her but life. Yeah, of us do from, have that. You have that, I imagine. Far, well. every, I have had a few. So the far right. Paula, you've and, already and said And they Paula. have been arrested for that and charged yeah, and Paula, found guilty and are serving sentences. who sentence. did she So, in terms of that, in terms who of that, she, she confronted racism. No, she didn't. She no, confronted she racism. She confronted threats, which we all get in public life. To do with the... I've got to leave it there. The skin, Listen, please. we'll come back. It's, a, it's an important subject. Thank you for all your perspectives. I appreciate it. Trevor? Uh, great you. to see you again, and good luck with the book. Windrush, 75 Years of Modern Britain, a cracking read.